Okay, hello, welcome back to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to check out my website, rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk to gain access no to the roulette bets, tools, please. find out more information about the tools. Um, this is my fourth recording today, starting with £5 deposit, and I'm, I'm up by £35.70. So I've got 40 71 at the minute, which is pretty 17. good. Black. I'm now going to try and build on Please this. Place I'm looking to get just four winning bets out of this setup. Click to play. I'm going to input bets the history of numbers close. from the top of the screen there into this tool. So four, three, no twenty-four, seventeen, twenty-seven, ten, thirty-six, seventeen, fifteen, twenty-three, zero. 23 again, 35, 11, and then 26, black. and then please three, place your bets. 13, 35, 27, 17, 11. Bets I'm just betting on 11 close. because I like to bet on 11 as a repeating no number. No more bets, please. So that's the only reason I'm betting in 11 and 30. And my two numbers I like to repeat bets on. So. Just a single bet on 11 to repeat. Nearly. It was a miss. 13 black. Please place so your I'm going bets. to play dozens and rolls. I'm also going to play bets outside of my roulette game player to try and get bets a few wins. Closing. I'm doing evens because that's on 7. No Not hit bets, an even please. number for 7 spins. It can keep giving me odd numbers for another seven spins. This is kind of a bad bet if it does that. But any even number. See, look, 17, 17 odd again. Black. So now, Please I mean, I am bets. in now. Um, Martingale <laughs> setup. Which is really bad. I'm also looking bets for another black closing. number, then I'll do zero neighbours, because I like to do zero neighbours if I see no more uh, bets, please. five black numbers in a row. So, looking for any even number to drop pop in. Even number black would be good. Then I'll do zero neighbours. Oh look, it's black, it's a black. pink number. And again, please look place at this. Your bets. I'm doing the martingale on an even number. Bets closing. And I'm also doing zero neighbours with 10 pence. No more bets, please. I'm looking to get four winning bets. Four winning bets is the bet, is the setup. So, even number, zero neighbour. Wow. 29. What the fuck's going Black. on here? Please place your bets. Bets closing. This is a good bet. No more. This is bets, a big please. bet. I'm on an even number, red, in the in the top roll. So any top roll, even red number. Thirty or thirty six. Eleven. Black. And it's eleven look. I like eleven. Please place your bets. Eighteen pound thirty one. This is this is kind of dangerous territory. Bets closing. Really dangerous territory. I'm taking too many risks. No yet. more bets, please. Uh, just to get the one here. Eleven to repeat eleven or a red even number in the top roll. <clears throat> the neighbour of eleven would be pretty good. I've got thirty six and thirty. It's red. It's not even. It's in the top Three. row. That's Red. a bit of a kick in the nuts. Please place your bets. Now I'm down to 18.31. And I don't know what to do now. Bets closing. I'm just going to do a £1 bet on... Actually, no £2 bets, on both 11 and 17. This is a, a, big, a big lesson in how to blow your money fast. So what I've done there is I've outweighed... A betting value massively. I've put too much out red. there on the table. 
in terms of what I had in the balance bets. in the bankroll. Way too much money out there. Way too much money bets based on what I had. Closer. I didn't manage my money correctly. No more bets. Fifty please. pence bets. Ten pence bets on the straight ups. Not one pound sixty per number. That was stupid. That was just ridiculously red. stupid. And that's Please what I'm going to get bets. on this setup, which is naughty. Not good. Not naughty, but it's not good. It's not the best. So I'm bets down to £4.31. So I'm going for it now on the no inset. In, um, basically, I'm trying to get one hit. That's going to put me above £40.71, and that'll be a stop. So 0, 18, and whatever it was, 25. Twenty, flat. So now I'm gonna do. Please place your bets. Eleven. Fourteen, and I've got thirty pence left. Put that on twenty, just in case. So I'm on. Bets close. Eleven, fourteen, jackpot numbers, and twenty-four. A little bit. No like more that. bets, please. No, 35, that is a losing setup. So I'll right. tell you exactly where I went wrong there. I played the inside game on the evens. I started with the even bet. That's where it went wrong. The, the outside bets always get me. When that was high, a value of 6 and 7, I started to place bets on that even money bet. And then I did the Martingale on that. And that's where my gameplay capitulated after that. I used that in conjunction with the top row and the reds that hadn't hit. And I did the red even numbers only in the top row. And it hit three. And I'd, I put £1.60 per number. That was the mistake. I was betting way too high for the bank roll that I had to support, um, you know, more bets if I lost. And, you know, taking risks like that has just completely shattered my, my bank balance there in the casino here. Now I'm back at zero. Pretty much, which is hard to take, to be fair. I'm down by £5, but it's tough to take that. So I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not happy with that at all. Um, but it's down to myself, and it's only ever going to be down to yourself to when, when to stop. Most players can get into profit not betting however they bet. doesn't matter how you bet. You will get into profit if you've got a good enough gameplay and the table wants to pay out. That's what will happen. If the table's on take mode, you're just I mean, you're just not gonna get any wins at all. Then you might fall into the trap of, you know, trying to force a win and getting bet, having bigger bets, betting on fewer numbers, and just missing everything and just blowing your dough. Um, what I've done there is I've bet way too big on the even red numbers in the top row. The even red numbers in this top row. I bet way too big, one pound something on those. I should have stuck to like twenty pence. That's it. 20 pence bets until that three dropped in. Then I should have gone back to playing the dozens and the rows. That's what I should have done. I failed to do that. And I ended up carrying on. And chasing my loss is what I did. Just looking for that one single hit to get me into profit, which didn't arrive. I didn't have the bankroll to support that type of action. And therefore, I lost the bankroll. And that's why I've got nothing in the bankroll. So don't do what I've just done. This is a massive lesson. Whose lesson? I'm probably not the only person that does this. But if you can learn to not do this, however you learn to not do this, then um, you'll have a much more positive outlook on gambling because you'll um, you'll lose a lot less. That's that's absolutely for sure. Because it, when I'm on my game, when I'm on my game, and I and I do what I'm trying to say now to people, you know, to avoid, then I know I'm going to do really well. So yeah. Thanks again for your time. I just used the missing section roulette tool. Um, I wasn't able to get into profit um, because I played it in an incorrect way, which which is really annoying. But there we go. Uh, thanks again for your time. See you again soon.